G'day guys, Calvin from the Cartoon Company. So just a real quickie for this morning. We're gonna talk about radiator caps. Had this Tirano come in and um, customers complaining that it's using water. So if you put some water in it, you drive it for a short distance, it uses some water. But if you don't keep topping it up, it doesn't continue to go down. I actually started it up and I could see the water going through the top of the radiator. And it'd be nice if it was actually coolant, but it isn't. It's well, it's it's probably not even water, it's probably more like sludge. Straight away you notice that this hose is crimped off, which isn't ideal. I think pretty common, you see, here's the radiator cap. Now the way the radiator cap works, that lets the uh, coolant, the fluid out of the radiator and maintains the pressure correctly. So this one's 0.9 of a bar, about 13 psi. And this one allows the coolant to be pushed back into the radiator. Well, it's not working. So that's how it should be. And you'll find that the overflow bottle here, expansion tank is completely full. So pretty common sign. Very simple fix, radiator cap. Well, that's gonna fix that part of the problem. We'll also sort that hose and we're gonna change the crunchy heater hoses and flush it and change the radiator. But the easy fix for a lot of jobs when they got those symptoms is put a radiator cap on it for the few dollars that they are. It's cheap insurance or, or if it's 10 years old, maybe just put another radiator cap on it. There you go, hope that's helpful and we'll talk to you again.